This is part two of a bouncing ball problem. Uh, I actually made this part one about five years ago and it kind of left you hanging with the very last question right here. And so five years later, let's do it. Um, so just a reminder, we dropped a ball. The ball came down, it bounced. You've probably done this many times in your life and it bounces to a lower height and we asked you to solve some questions. So the very last question I wanted to pose was, um, what if you want it to bounce to the same height? Okay, you're a basketball player, you're dribbling, you want it to bounce to the exact same height so you can keep playing. So to do that, you'd have to give the ball some velocity to start with, right? You're gonna push down on it, you're gonna give it an initial velocity, and you want it to um, therefore bounce up to the top. So that's really the question is, how fast should we make this move? in order to get it to bounce to the exact same height. Okay, let's go ahead and clean up this board a little bit. We'll put this down here, slide this up here. So um, yeah, we'll just use conservation of energy here. So again, E initial equals E final. And this time at the top, since it has some speed, there's gonna be an initial kinetic energy, right? So at the beginning, we have some kinetic energy and we still have our potential energy, okay? And then at the end, we're gonna again have some uh, potential energy right here. So we have potential beginning, potential N, UG to end with. And then right over here, we lost some energy. So we do wanna keep that, keep track of that. So we'll say plus kinetic energy. Oops, we will not say that. We will say plus energy lost. Okay, uh, so one thing to notice right away is this height h, like we're going to do mgh and mgh, those two heights are the same. And so basically this is going to cancel out. So notice what we're left is, with is a nice little thing that the amount of kinetic energy we need to add is exactly equal to the energy that we lost. This should make sense to you because, well, if we lost some energy over here, then we're gonna have to gain back that energy somewhere to compensate for that. And that would be right here at the beginning. Okay, so we can see up here previously, we figured out how much energy was lost. It was about one joule. So that E lost was equal to 0 0.98 joules. All right, so let's go ahead and solve this. Let's move this out of the way. We'll move this up a little bit and we know kinetic energy therefore kinetic energy equals one half mv squared and we'll just do the math here so 0.98 equals one half the mass was 0.2 times v squared okay solve for v we just plug it in right now and we get 3.13 meters per second. Hope this helps. Let me know if you have any more questions.